We've been seeing some areas of snowfall during our Saturday, but it's gradually tapering off and coming to an end. Still seeing some light snow here in Fargo and the Southern Valley, including Detroit Lakes, Fergus Falls, down into the Sisseton Hills as well. And we do have a couple remaining areas of low visibility. 1.7 miles in Oaks, a mile and a half in Alexandria, Detroit Lakes visibility is at two miles, but it has been gradually improving over the last few hours. Right now in Fargo, it's cold out there. Three degrees feeling like eight below zero with a northeasterly wind at six miles per hour. So that's the good news. We haven't had a lot of wind for our day. Currently in Moorhead, one degree. It's zero in Grand Forks, six below in Roseau, seven below in Baudette, seven above down in Sisseton. But check out Bismarck and Aberdeen, 23 degrees. Big temperature difference across the valley for tonight. A wind chill advisory starts tonight and will continue through noon on your Sunday. So we're expecting very cold temperatures by morning. And in addition to cold to start the day, we're expecting a couple rounds of snow and some wind. So here's what we can expect. The first round of snow is mostly going to be across eastern North Dakota and the southern Red River Valley through the mid morning hours with a southerly wind around 30 miles per hour. We'll have a brief, brief little break with just a few spotty snow showers into the early afternoon before round two for the Central Valley and moving into northwestern Minnesota. Then we start to see the wind turn more northerly and becoming more gusty with gusts over 30 miles per hour. So throughout the day tomorrow, we could see areas of blowing and drifting snow in addition to the falling snow leading to slick road conditions, along with additional areas of low visibility. We're not looking at a ton of snow, generally a trace to three inches, and I'll show you where here in your hour by hour forecast. The rest of tonight, we're going to see gradual clearing from the north to the south and under clear skies, light winds and fresh snow on the ground. You know, those are the ingredients for frigid temperatures. So even before nine o'clock tonight, double digits below zero areas like Roseau and Baudette. And right here is where I'm expecting the coldest conditions by tomorrow morning. We'll start to see some clouds move in from the west by morning. But take a look, 20s below zero for northwestern Minnesota, teens below zero here in the Southern Valley. Much warmer out west with snow and clouds. That area of snow and cloud cover is going to be increasing as it pushes into the valley, bringing us those areas of snow across eastern North Dakota and the southern valley through the morning and then into the afternoon. Here's that spotty snow I was talking about before reinforcing across the central valley in northwestern Minnesota into the later afternoon hours. And here we have the wind out of the south ahead of that frontal system and behind it, the wind turns gusty out of the northwest. So we could have some additional snow out in western North Dakota and clipping our uh, areas like the James River Valley up towards Harvey Valley City and Lisbon with additional light snow. But the story late Sunday and into Monday becomes the wind. Here's what we're looking at for snowfall amounts. Generally a trace to one inch, but we could have some pockets of heavier snow between one and three inches, and that does include Fargo and parts of northwestern Minnesota. So this guy, he's going to have to put up with some more snow as if today wasn't enough. This is a great capture of a bison bull at Whitehorse Hill National Game Preserve. Thank you so much to Rick Craig for taking the time to upload this photo to valleynewslive.com. Now let's check out your seven day forecast. Monday, we start with single digits, but then we fall with areas of blowing snow and additional wind. So not looking at a first alert weather day for Monday, but definitely um, some cold and tricky travel conditions continue. Frigid by Tuesday, another first alert weather day because we're going to remain well below zero with dangerous wind chills. We stay cold Wednesday morning, but then Alex, look at that warm up. We have a front moving through that brings us another shot at some snow by Thursday and a little bit of a warm up as we head into next weekend. Well, at least we can look forward to the warm up. Yes, <laughs> thanks. <we need> it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you.